We send referrals to pharmacies because, um, number one, we've got a really good relationship with our pharmacists next door. Um, so we know them well, trust them, have regular contact with them, daily contact with them really. Um, and number two, we wanted to manage acute demand more efficiently, uh, more appropriately, more timely for patients. Um, and also take strain off us uh, because people that we are sending to pharmacy first often don't need to be assessed by us at all. I think it's important to utilise our skill set that we've developed and to try and take those low acute illnesses away from primary care, from walking centres, from a and &E, etc. because those places are being rammed with inappropriate people. Um, so the way we work with our uh, neighbouring pharmacy is a patient request will come in um, to reception either on the phone or on our online consultation tool and the receptions will look at it and if it's appropriate for the pharmacy we often directly refer it to the pharmacy using the uh, online referral system and their text message to the patient to let them know they've been referred or sometimes if the receptionist isn't sure it will come onto our GP triage screen and often I as the refereeing GP will make a judgment that this can be dealt with by the pharmacy or at least further assessed by the pharmacy knowing that if they're not happy with it it will come back to me uh, to, to kind of make a further judgment. So I think the benefit of the pharmacy first referral direct from the GP practice or NHS one one is that we've got a good clear order trail of the problems and it also means on the escalation front you've documented everything and you've actually got a hard copy if needed to hand over so that that information stream carries on. I think it's better for the patient journey. In terms of the IT, it works pretty well I think compared to lots in the NHS. So when we want to make a referral to the pharmacy um, there's two things we do. One, we've got a little local services button on EMIS, our system, which takes probably about 10 seconds, I think, to uh, click the button, choose the pharmacy. We always choose our next door pharmacy, even if the patient doesn't live nearest it, because we, we know we've got that working relationship with that pharmacy. Uh, and then you put in a kind of two or three word uh, blurb about why, why you're referring. And then so that, that goes off in 10 seconds and then we spend another 5 or 10 seconds. It's a strong relationship which is uh, friendly but professional that has been worked on for many years um, and has allowed us to communicate freely and share experience and to improve things quite quickly. For us a lot of the learning and training for our pharmacy colleagues has been kind of on the job as we've worked together so that these feel like shared patients so that it's trying to kind of make human to human relationships such that if the pharmacist bounces something back we've seen patients together we've had some chit chat on teams about what to look for next time or, or what the outcome of that was so that our pharmacist is continually learning as well i'm learning what they can do but also they're getting better at dealing with different presentations so the, the way that we work around 85 percent of cases that are referred to the pharmacy are dealt with in-house 15 percent that are escalated what we do is we use the official platform and farm outcomes and we print off a copy of that as well to take through and then that gets scanned upon the system for the doctor to actually look at that day. As a pharmacist, I feel like I'm more involved with the day-to-day -day health of the patients and it's also an opportunity whereby I can explore other healthcare avenues with patients, not just the acute side. So that relationship building has been fantastic where Pharmacy Place is concerned. It's been a stepping stone to, to other things as well, um, a lot of signposts and, and just general health of, of, the, of the actual area. Um, so I think just the relationship's gone from strength to strength really.